Hello, welcome to Stacy Lee Beauty. My name is Stacy, and I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you like this video at the end, I hope that you will hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Today, I wanted to do a fun tag video that Emily Noel created and did on her channel the other day. It was called the Sephora 1000 Fantasy Basket. And I just thought that it was cool to watch what she would pick out and then to go through on my own and see if I had a thousand dollars to spend, what would I really pick out of Sephora? I'm usually an Ulta girl. I like their rewards program. Emily Noel, she just comes up with such creative video ideas. And she did say for anyone who wants to do this, that she tags them and to go ahead and do it. So let's get started. This is in no certain order. It was just as I was going through Sephora's website and looking at it. So I will put up pictures of the items that I'm talking about. Kevin Kwan Contour Book number three, and this is $59. And the reason I picked this is because number one, I've never tried anything from Kevin Kwan, and I've heard really great things about all his products. And when I looked at this one, even though it says it's a contour book, I felt like this is something, the colors, that I really could create a full face with it. Number two is Tower 28 Beauty. And I've had my eye on this brand for a while. I saw it on Instagram. The reason that I was really attracted to this brand is they are made in the US. So when I was looking through, the thing that really caught my attention was the Tinted Lip and Cheek Balm for $20. They are a clean beauty line cruelty-free and gluten-free this product is. The next few are Dior. I just think whenever I've seen the products posted on Instagram or a YouTuber using them, Dior products just look so elegant, so just bougie for, I can't think of another word, just so rich. I just think they look so, so pretty. They're definitely display worthy. First thing is the Backstage Eyeshadow Palette for $49. I mean, look at those colors. They're just gorgeous and it almost looks too pretty to use, but of course I would use it. Lip Glow is $34. And again, that packaging is just so beautiful. The Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation for $62. I don't wear foundation every day, even pre-COVID but I really am always on the hunt for a foundation. I have dry skin. Foundation that just gives a natural look while just bringing my skin and the look to a next level, but not hiding or covering up my skin. Never tried any of those brands. This next two items, I have tried this brand. It's Yves Saint Laurent. I have one of the lipsticks and it is my favorite. I have tried this brand over the years. This was my first luxury purchased brand. I bought, I think it was eyeshadow and like a foundation powder, and it just has a scent to it that I just love. I love the way it smells. I just feel so fancy when I use any of their products, and I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. If I could, I would buy a whole thing of Yves Saint Laurent. Um, the foundation, I've never tried their foundation, so I thought, well, I would definitely try that. $54. And this Lipstick Love Collection, I mean, look at that packaging. Isn't that adorable? And yeah, I just love the scents that is in there. This product. was just so much fun to do. I don't plan on purchasing any of these. Maybe throughout the year I will. It's just fun to do this to kind of pretend and just add them to the cart. And when I got to a thousand dollars, it's like, okay, take that out all out. But at least now if I do get a gift card or anything like that to Sephora, I can come to this video and easily remember what is on my wish list. So number eight is the Fenty Matchstick Trio for $54. I've never tried anything from Fenty, but I just love the packaging and I have heard wonderful things about all of the Fenty products. 9, 10, 11 is all Charlotte Tilbury. That brand has been on my wish list for a long time, but I just have not pulled the trigger and just, but someday, someday I will purchase something from her and see if it's worth the hype. Everyone seems to love it. So the mini lipstick and liner and pillow talk, I love when they have minis because really like you can't, normally you don't really go through the whole product anyway. So I feel like minis are a great option. That is $25. The Cheek to Chic 
blush is $40 and I like how it looks like it has another color in the center that you can just swirl them together and the Magic Serum Crystal Elixir for $80. I haven't heard anybody talk about that, but I haven't really looked it up or Googled it, but I just thought it looked cool. I'd like to try Pat McGrath, so I decided maybe the Mini Eyeshadow Palette for $28, because then I could try the formula, but I'm still not spending $100 on one palette. Number 13 and 14 is Bobbi Brown. I do have a Bobbi Brown lip it's like um, oil infused lip gloss, which I love. It just feels so nice. It looks good and it's not sticky and it's creamy. So I love that. So then I thought, okay, what I got to look at Bobbi Brown. So the face base moisturizer is $60 and then the creamy concealer kit for $39. I thought that those would be good ones to try out. Number 15, Lawless Little One eyeshadow palette and this one is $25 and that is a clean brand and this is number 16 is the Tatcha bestseller set for $60. I think I've tried a sample of the water cream but I've heard so many wonderful things about Tatcha so let me know down below when I'm talking about these if any of them that you have tried and if you love them and let me know if you feel they're worth the splurge. So in this bestseller kit, you get to try the cleanser, the water cream, silk canvas, and the dewy mist. Tom Ford bronzer, $75. I feel like I don't use bronzer a lot, but why I picked this is because I've heard wonderful things about it. And when I looked at it, I thought, you know, you probably could do more with that than just bronzer. You know, you could use it as an eyeshadow color. You could probably wet your brush and use it as a brown eyeliner. So I would like to try something from Tom Ford. Mark Jacobs, the blurring powder for $49. When I went through, I, you know, found tons of things that I liked really piqued my interest. Number 19 and 20. I'm not sure how you say this brand. Caldoli, Caldoli, I think. I had a sample of their Vinyl Source Moisturizing Sorbet. A long time ago and I kind of forgot about it and then when I was going through this I thought oh yes that brand I loved how that moisturizer felt and I just honestly I forgot about it because like I said I'm mostly an Ulta girl so it just didn't even register but the Vino moisturizing sorbet even though I've tried this I love this I would definitely put this on my list to get and then also their hydration set, I would be wanting to try too. That's $59. And they are a clean beauty brand as well. And the last thing, when I added it all up, I was like, I still got some money left. And so I decided I would try one of the Melt palettes, Melt Cosmetics. Those just seem so pigmented. I've never tried one, but, you know, I've heard pretty good things about them and I did swatch a long time ago when I went to Sephora I swatched one of their palettes and it did seem highly pigmented so I would like to try one of their items. Are my 21 wish list items if I magically had a thousand dollars to spend at Sephora and I would love to know if you have tried any of these products and what you think of them and also if you are a fellow creator are you planning on doing this tag? I thank Emily Noel for creating this. It was so much fun and it just got me really thinking about different brands that I normally don't look at. I hope that this was enjoyable for you to watch as well. And again, let me know what you thought of this wish list. What would you spend your money on? Oh, and if you want to see how I created this look, this is one of the looks in my Tati video that is coming up next week. So if you're not already, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss that video. Let me know if you do this tag video, make sure you delete those things out of your cart after you put them in there so you don't accidentally press the button to buy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. So always excited to try different ones, different clean brands. And this is, wouldn't that be a dream come true? And yeah, I, what else do I want to say? Hmm. Hit the subscribe button and the, the little, so if you're,